Every time we don't have a good episode, I change the top. And last time out, if you did watch that one, we're not going to discuss it right here because it was a little bit embarrassing. Instead, we'll just move on to today where we hopefully have some easier games and hopefully get some better results. As yes, people, welcome back to episode number four of series number six, or season number six. If it was a six series of Hartlepool, I would be a bit concerned for the channel of the Hartlepool United FIFA 22 Road to Glory career mode. As today, we are starting off with a two-year loan to buy for Maximilian Johansson from Girona. They literally want every single one of our players, so we're going to accept that, get rid of the players straight away, because... Although it's a small squad, we do need, well, we don't need three or four left wing backs at the club. As, I, I need to get started a bit calmer, don't I? Of course, like I always say, don't forget to subscribe before you watch this video. And make sure you've watched the previous one so you know what's happening today. As, now we go to the seasonal calendar and we look at the fixtures we have after a very, very rough patch last time out. Zero wins from five. We have Fulham to start us off with away at the Cottage. Beat us in the FA Cup last year, but then we beat them in the playoff final. That's it. We play these all the time in like little cup things. And the Nottingham Forest. So two games which I think are winnable, although we're on bad form. Then we have Spurs, who are the top six club on bad form. Brighton, Hove, Albion and Leeds United at Ellen Road. So, I'm thinking play one of these, probably whichever's highest, then we play Spurs for definite, and I'm thinking Leeds United, although I think Brighton are still in the top six in this career mode. They are on very good form, and in fact, I'm going to check straight away. They are third. Brighton, like their badge, the Seagulls, are flying. Name really does work for Brighton as Fulham first. 18th at home, or they're at home actually. Where are Nottingham Forest? They are above the drop zone actually. Hmm, but we do play them at home. Fulham are yet to win a game in this division. I think we do risk Fulham actually seeing that stat. So we need to get the right team out. And I feel like this is the right team, which hopefully does the business. We're going to try and get near Masion because he's unhappy now. Like most of the squad are after the bad run we've been on. So, Freddie Woodman in goal. Hoover, Duarte, Staunton, Knight and Calderon in my defence. With Beltran, Baker and Alfie McCalmont. And Antonin up front with Pedro. Trust in him. Still over Thomas Kiss who needs to change his position pronto. I want him in my team. As please don't lose back to back against Fulham. It's a nil-nil which to be fair isn't the best result. I really wanted a win right there, but even stats, even scoreline. Same scoreline as the Grimsby result two days ago now for you guys, which I wasn't best pleased about going to. We'll take the point. We will have to do as we could drop even further down the league, though. We played in the early kickoff, and we are 11th as it is. We go to 12th, right. There's serious improvements to be done to this squad, and we play Nottingham Forest next. Where are they? I mean, every other team is above us, so maybe we simulate... Oh, Spurs are below us. Maybe we simulate Nottingham Forest as well. Seven points, we've got 11. If we do lose this, though, it's a bit of a risk playing the harder games. It could be in for another relegation battle, which I do not want. So, yeah, I think I am going to simulate Nottingham Forest. I'm going to go for it. So, same team again. It's more fitter now for some reason, and players are actually happy. Knight's finally got his fitness up, which has kind of took a while. Can Kiss play up front? Nope, still not minus five, which he's going to have to learn from. So, that was loud in my ears. I know my controller's always out of charge, as please beat Forest. Please beat Forest. We need this playing well in real life. A 1-1, and Kiss comes off the bench to actually get a goal in a game we were dominated in. At home, Pedro as well missed a penalty. Why did I have to click down and see that? Yusuf with theirs and Kiss saving us. Quite poor if you ask me as we could drop to 13th and we do. 
Villa we'll get points above us, but at least we're playing the rest of our games. Spurs are struggling as we're away at the new Tottenham Stadium. 16th, two wins. We've got three. We've got three, but the four. I absolutely hate how we've gone off the rails a little bit. How far are we off the top six? We're five points off Liverpool. Still catchable today, you know, if we get his game plans right. And we are going to go with this same team again. I know Thomas Kiss just scored, but... He will stay benched. Hopefully that impact sub we do need with that pace. And same team apart from that. Looking a lot happier after a draw. Which is confusing against Forrest. But still, be very happy if we could do the double against Spurs. We lost to them, of course, at their place last season. But we beat them at ours at the end of last. 1-0 with Baker. Could it be the same? Ooh. And there's a grand atmosphere around the stadium for this one. A huge... Huge game for Hartlepool and for Tottenham to get away from the relegation zone. You can see right here with the fans, Pedro starting. Just push that little girl's bun down. That wasn't very nice. Karim Adeyemi is the top scorer for them as well with his teeth up as Almadar's in goal. Wrench, Carter, Vickers, Lindelof and Vasquez. Tozolis, Magkeef and Saar with Deli Ali, Adeyemi and Louis Diaz. Is Kane benched? He is. He's on that bench. Eder Miller Tower the same. Jonathan Bamba, some weird decisions. Deli Ali still in the team at Tottenham. Six seasons in, that is weird stuff. But also their league position is weird, and maybe that team shows us why. Their team sheet, as Baker does like a goal against big clubs, maybe relying on him, the captain, to come up with a contribution, as Alfie on the ball right here has Calder on out wide. Pedro's in the centre right there. It's a decent ball. Towards Antonian, unlucky not to get there, as now there's a run on right here. Luis Diaz finds Adeyemi through the middle, and Woodman has to make a good save. Eight minutes into this one, Tottenham with a big opportunity to take the lead. Luckily for us, they haven't, as does Olis, the Greek, trying his skill. Alfie McCalmont with a good tackle, and Luis Diaz to take this throw in. He's going to dummy it, and dummy it again. You, you dummy it three times, no one's falling for it, as now Deli Alley. Into Diaz, the Colombian. Now on to Tozolis. Calderon with the cutout. Still ball not away though. As Adeyemi into Deli Ali. He's onside. It will count. Deli Ali does his celebration as Tottenham have the lead here in London. This is going to be another big challenge to come back from. It is terrible the way we're playing at the moment. Adeyemi somehow Deli Ali kept onside. I think it might be Hoover on the far side and. Yeah, finishes it into Woodman's bottom near post corner. A bit sloppy from him. A horrific start for us right there. As now Baker across the Beltran. We're going to have to try and come back, aren't we? Alfie McCalmont tries to chip it over Carter Vickers. He reads it straight away. Only as far as Beltran. Need to get some passing play together. This is better. Antonin round the corner into Baker. I told you he likes a goal. He passes it to Antonin. Defender doesn't get there. 1-1 one, one instantly. Antonin, celebrate with those fans. It's still a big goal, despite it being the instant equaliser. We needed it. We want three points, but we needed that one. And it has come perfectly. Baker with the assist this time. Oh, almost there with the slide. But Antonin to finish it off. 1-1. One, one. And Luis Diaz with the ball through right here, though, as we wanted to go for the, the winner ourselves. We now need to find an equaliser again. It is Adayemi who fires it in at the near post immediately after our goal. How are they instantly replying again to us? It is beyond me. I mean, I thought we'd learn. I thought we'd got ourselves back into the game. It's around the corner. The Colombian passes it in. Woodman again at his near post. Having a bit of a wobble today. Yes, he's the highest rated player, but still dreadful again as Pedro took out. Nothing given. No. Nope. K game, I don't get how that's not given as now Sa across to Magki for whatever his name was. Tozolis out wide, Deli Ali's there. He receives the ball rather easily. Calderon coming across, it's easily past him. Into Magki, now into Adeyemi with space. Duarte blocks with his hand. We're crumbling, we're really crumbling here in London. Tottenham with a penalty off the Brazilian. It's Tozolis to take. Can Woodman redeem himself? He cannot. 3-1 Spurs. What a shocker we're having here. Like, this is relegation form. It really is. It's not good enough to Zolish to just pass it to the side netting. Woodman leaps out of the way of it. 
And now we've got a comeback well and truly on our hands. That's if we can get it, of course, as Antonin straight on the ball. Three goals conceded in the first half. That is shocking as Baker round the corner. Kijana here with it. We've got Pedro in the middle. Whoever going to whip it to the front post. Antonin, whew, almost under Aldemar. But a good save as now Pedro is in the box, of course. The big man. And can he win his header at the front post? Good corner, Pedro. Straight at the keeper. Should have done a lot better with that. However, we've got the ball again. Pedro cuts away. Antonin round the corner. Can we get one back with a Spaniard? Aldemar with an amazing save again to keep us from getting this goal as we need one. Pronto. Two goals in front in the second half. They can sit back, which they're not doing still in this first. Adeyemi with the ball out to Diaz. And hang on. Let's not get caught out here. Vasquez. Where's he going to go with it? He's gone back into Saar. Saar across into Adeyemi. He's got the run through the middle of Tozolis. Bad pass from them. We give it straight back to him. We have give it straight back to him. And Woodman bails us out from four. That is horrific football. As a corner again. Tozolis to pass it short to Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz has gone around us. He's still got the ball. Gives it to the edge of the box. Cameron Vickers. Carter Vickers. Adeyemi. It's four. Woodman was pouring the goal. Absolutely useless. By far the worst half of football I've ever seen us play. Against a struggling Tottenham. 4-1. Woodman, what are you doing with yourself? That is terrible. After all the play, uh, praise last time out, that is woeful. And at the break, we have to change something. Tottenham absolutely wrecking us here. We've got to get back on form. Before we go into what should be two easier games after this. As Pedro's coming off. He's missed his chances. Tamas Kiss. Got the goal last time out. Got the pace. Might as well try him. Not even lying but close to taking every single one of these players off the field. Beltram was terrible in that first half. He's lucky to stay on as Kiss making an immediate run. Vasquez can't keep up with him. Tamas Kiss. He's through a little bit here. And he scored immediately. This small man needs more game time. The number 23 who got us a leveller at Forest gets us a goal back here. Skip that replay. Game slightly back on. Still a big ask, of course, as now Saar sticks one out wide into Wrench. Deli Alley into the middle to Zolis looking for an angle. If they get a fifth here, it's game over for definite. Starting with a good tackle. He's going to follow his man out wide because Calderon just gets rounded. As now he's in the middle. Ali tries to spread it across. Beltran tackled. You can't afford to be getting tackled in that position. As it's a good job Woodman stops the hat trick. Saar coming off as a corner ball for Tottenham. Please don't let them get another. It's towards Tozolis. Headed over. Phillips with a volley. The ex leads man. And Tamas Kiss beats Vasquez to that. The Hungarian is hungry here against Tottenham. He's running down the line. He's beating him for pace. Keep going, Tamas. You'll be turning into my favourite player right here. Cuts inside. Goes for a shot. Unlucky from him. He's trying to create absolutely everything as here he is again. Tamas with his back to goal. Just looking for a ball to play off. There we go into Baker. Antonin. McClamon. Now out wide to Calderon which we really can't afford to cross with. And he can't even cut inside. Calderon's had a shocker today. As Deli Alley's absolutely turned him inside out. As Staunton needs to win that header please. He does. Into the middle to Baker. And we are finding more gaps in the Tottenham defence. We just need to try and get at them. Calderon with a good run round this time. Here he is. Calderon, can he whip it in now? It's a terrible ball. Embarrassing from him. As now Alfie McClamont again though. Fran Beltran. Give that round the side. Can it be a better delivery this time? Wrench with a little foot on it. Antonin putting the pressure on at the back post. Hooked away but still us on the ball. We had his chances. Well, not chances, but a lot of the ball. As Antonin with a chance. Goes to shoot. Falls to Baker. In the middle still. Tamas Kiss fighting for it. Even trying to win his header as it's a handball from Magkeith. And it could be 4-3. This is a very important penalty right here. And I'm going to put Baker on it. We really didn't do it well with penalties, of course, in his last couple of games. So, please, Baker. This is important. And he scores. 4-3, skip it, game's on, it is a mad one here at the Tottenham Stadium, we can salvage a point, not long to go, it's been a very, very improved second half, as Beltran should be coming off soon, but Adeyemi with a shot, oh, it's deflected wide, 
So good job that bounced. And AM is still fighting for his hat trick as we'll follow him. Tamas Kiss will do. And if we can get a tackle in here, we'd be on a counter with Kiss. But no, we don't. Phillips across. Dezolis had a chance to shoot. Phillips does. Woodman saves. And another corner as Anthony makes way. Getting all the fit players on now as... Are you joking me? Are you having a laugh? Third penalty of the game because Hoover decided to run in when Tamas Kiss was clearing it. What is the Dutchman doing? As Tozolis with another penalty in this game. Woodman against him. Dives the right way but it still goes in the top bin. And that is the comeback gone. Eight goals. And we're on the wrong side of them. Tozolis bags his brace. What a game it's been for the neutral, but not for us. A much improved second half, a moment of madness from our right wing back. is going to cost us the game. Absolutely stupid as Tamas Kiss charging through the defence on his own. Because whoever doesn't decide to support him right now, and Brandon Fowler trying to make the run above, chips it into probably the best place he could have chipped it. Kiss has been trying on his own in this second half. Definitely worthy of a start as Vasquez through the middle. On to Phillips, Vasquez back inside, Adayemi, Luis Diaz, Tottenham still knocking the ball around well, it's chipped into the space for the Colombian and Woodman just wasting time for us a little bit there, diving on it stupidly, Calderon with a pass straight through and Tamas with a turn, it's a very good one, a smart one, Phillips with a tackle, McCalmont straight in the way. Can't get his pass off. Adeyemi looking for another as Luis Diaz beats Duarte. The Colombian charging through at Woodman. Chips. Night away. I mean, that could have been six. And the game ends five. Five three to Tottenham. Very, very disappointing game from us. We will be closing in on the relegation places as it stands. I thought we'd improved as team this time round. This season round, should I say. Doesn't seem so here. Disappointing result. 5-3 loss. Work to be done. 14th in the league now. Even Fulham can catch us on points, which is quite embarrassing from where we started. But hey-ho, on to the next couple of games. I do feel like the squad is kind of weak compared to most teams now who are getting like loads of high-rated players. Even the likes of Fulham and Forest. As Brighton are in 6th, so they're having a really good season. And we play them next, of course, as, yes... Kiss is back from international duty. You can see I changed them out because I thought they wouldn't return, but he's back and he's going straight into that first 11. Can we actually put him on a wing? We can, but that's very far out wide, isn't it? And that would leave, of course, just one in the centre. Can he play left forward? Okay, so he can play left forward. So if we stick him in the middle, just slightly more to this side, left forward is okay for Tamas Kiss. So we'll play him there. A couple more changes you can see is Riley back in the team. And yeah, that's about it for McCalmont. As we've got Pedro on the bench now. He's usually an off-bench player. Kiss, I'm going to play as a starter with the pace alongside Antonin. Hoping to take something from the Seagulls who are high-flying. And the Brighton team we face is Etienne Greeningal, Terry Lamptey, Sondgu, Tierney, Offier and Mensa. Very good lineup. Moder and Cassiedo. With Eneme Elia and Brobby with Ian Acho up front. Not too bad at all. They even have Mateo Kovacic on the bench, which is a big deal, I would say, as now Eneme with the ball straight across the middle. Easy for them. Mensa jogs backwards to now come forwards again. And a block, because that's going to be their corner. Of course it is. Oh, my days. We need to get his home farm, uh, home farm? Home farm back up and running. So, hopefully, that can be today. As header one. Woodman's come a very far way out. And Duarte gets that on the line. Still a header. As Freddie Woodman has put me on edge all of today. I mean, yes, all of today. Just counting the one Tottenham game. But still, he's been quite poor as Beltran. That was good acceleration through the middle. Antonin, with a bit of a chance right here, goes to cut through. Little bit of a shot for a foul. Squeaky voice time, as now Baker into Hoover. Hoover across to uh, Fran Beltran, cutting back on himself and giving it into Matt O'Reilly back in the team. Wanted to go with a bit more of an attacking midfield this game. We have got five at the back after all, as Baker across now. O'Reilly, this is good movement. Beltran into Kiss, who's on side, gets his shot off. Lamptey will receive and pass into a bit of a pressurised area. We should have leaped on that. Brighton ain't playing the best, as Ian 
Oh, we've run into each other a little bit there. Iheanacho still with the ball, finds Moda. Tyree Lamptey now cutting back on himself and running into a bit of a dangerous position. That's through the middle. Brobby with a shot and blocked as Baker tackled Leonardo over the top. As Beltran just pegs that forward onto Antonin. The run of Kiss was in front. Still bounces back to Hoover who needs to find him. There we go. Back heel. Beautiful from Tamas Kiss. Baker. Oh, saved by Green. That, though, is a move I very much enjoy us making. Very, very good stuff. As, of course, we don't have Pedro on the field. But we've got a centre-backs up. Baker whipping it in. That was Beltran who would have been underneath that. Not the best of balls. We're still on side here with Baker, though. Antonin tackled again. And Kalecci Iheanacho with the ball around the corner into his strike partner, Brobby. The Dutchman should be against the Dutchman. I don't know where Hoover is. As Baker now with the ball to take it away from a good Duarte tackle. Tamas Kiss lays it off to O'Reilly. Tamas just put that ball through straight away. That's a good one onto Antonin as he's got good footwork. To keep hold of it. He's going to squeeze that through to Calderon. Brilliant ball. The Mexican charging through. Now whipping in. That's a great ball. It's going to fall for Matt O'Reilly. And a good block from Tonsengu in the middle. I think it's pronounced. But a good chance once again created. Creating some good stuff here. As Tamas Kiss flicks that out wide to whoever. Or Hoover again. Tries to chip it in. And what's being given? That's not a penalty is it? That's not a Penalty, it is! Okay. H how is that handball, though? I will never know. I mean, the referee's been very controversial there. Antonin with a chance from the penalty spot. Baker took the last one, but I trust him. And my trust is repaid. 1-0 up against Brighton. The striker gets 2-2. Two two. This time, we win. Making up for giving the penalty away in the last one with winning one. Hoover... And it's good when you can rely on other people to take penalties. Antonin sends the keeper the wrong way. Very nice indeed. As we've still got to stay strong before this half-time mark though. Kalecci and Acho hooking one out wide into Mensa, who's got his back to us. And Hoover, brilliant tackle that time out. As, oh, we're on a bit of a charge there. But the referee blows his whistle. 1-0 to us at the break. Actually... A good first half, which we haven't had in a while. And Brobit with a pass around the corner to start this second half off with Staunton with a block as he gets the ball off again. Baker, and yes, I did think that was a foul. Thank you, referee. He's on our side. Duarte with a pass across to Beltran. Now Kiss is facing the right way. He's facing gold. Why not just go for it? Has one a throw-in, of course, as Hoover with a throw-in into Baker. Bit of a stretched pass, but we still do have the ball. O'Reilly... I was thinking about a shot, didn't go for it in the end, as now Baker just put that out wide. Hoover, do the same what you did last time, run all the way to the byline and stretch it in, it's a good one. Antonin with the pressure at the back post, I'm liking that move we're making as Matt O'Reilly, he's had an impressive day today. Antonin with it again, here he is, Hoover goes to beat Mensa, but Mensa tackles this time. And I'm going to make a, maybe a controversial change right here, Antonin coming off, because he did score the penalty, but in the game I haven't seen him making that many runs so coming on is going to be Brandon Fowler as Tamas Kiss into Baker Baker looking for the option to Antonin here he is on the ball on side Matt O'Reilly again tries to turn and find someone on the edge but a poor place to give away the ball Iheanacho into Kovacic and they're going to try and get at us here come on we've got to defend we need this win oh Moda's just slipped straight through Chips Woodman gets a hand to it Hoover away. Big banana peel avoided right there. That would have been stupid. As there's more changes to be made. Ben Thompson comes on to be more defensive. For Fran Beltran who hasn't had the best of games. However, Moda with a long shot. And Woodman saves. Get in there. The other change was Bolton for Hoover. Because although he's played well, he's absolutely shattered. As now they're going to whip this corner in or go short. They've gone short. Good. Kovacic. We've just got to stand him up, please. Just keep standing him up. Keep knocking them backwards. Moda tries to go around. Slide there. Thompson. No way, referee. Now he's against us, is the ref. That was a good challenge from Thompson as they're going to cross it in. Headed away from Duarte. And hang on. We might have a run on here. Tamas Kiss, of course, is quite fast. As he can't beat Tyree Plumpty, though, who doesn't even have to run that much. Runs straight into him. Pressure is all on us at the end of this game. Staunton away into Ben Knight. And now can we go? Fowler 
Keeps his back to them, which he does very well. And through that gap to Calderon. Foul the point in where he wants it. Lamp to put in the pressure on. And Green with a kick out right here. Looking to try and get down on it. But to Song Yu with the ball away as we're almost in added time here. You can hear the whistles from the fans. They desperately want this. As Kovacic goes back into Kieran Tierney. Just, just take the yellow and move on. He might not actually get one as Offia dribbles. But it's too late. We needed that in front of the home fans. 1-0. Courtesy of a penalty against high-flying Brighton. Definitely, definitely take that. A good performance all around, I would say. Good stuff. We move on to Leeds United and we do not slow it down. And that drags Brighton actually closer to us as we're up to 10th. We're above our opponents in the next game, Leeds United. And we want to join that pack of challenging for... I won't say top four. I'd say fifth to eighth, even though we do want to come seventh. As, yeah, 15 points. We definitely could have done better if we would have got a draw maybe against Tottenham. That Fulham and Nottingham Forest game, a win out of one of those two. So let's make sure we do get the three points out of Leeds United to put them pressurising points on the others. As Spurs have gone above us. But we have a game in hand, so we'll still be above Tottenham if we win this, despite the loss. As then, we've got two very difficult games after this one, so... It makes the Leeds United points even more valuable if we do get them, as I don't think I can change the winning squad. A very impressive performance last time out. So, same team again, going into Leeds at Ellen Road, hoping we get three points. And Leeds United's team that we face, Bailey Peacock Farrell's back in goal, with Forza Menza, Kumbula, Romanoli and Hegel, with Badoui, Bogus, Shackleton, McGurk and Somerville. Youth pushing through. Maximiliano Gomez still up front. To me, I'd say that's a winnable, well, a team that we can win against. Very strong defence, but Bailey Peacock Farrell in goal has really piqued my interest. He's at Sheffield Wednesday in real life in League One. Back to the Prem with Leeds a couple of seasons after leaving them. Be sure he did leave them for Burnley as well on a permanent and he's on loan at Sheffield Wednesday from Burnley. So he's not at Leeds in real life for definite. As Calderon into O'Reilly. Let's get an early start. Bad foul, but Beltran. Look at Hoover in space over here. Kijana with a touchdown right there. And can he pass it in? He can. Antonin with his back facing goal. Now Hoover with a bit of an acceleration of pace. Whips it across goal. Tamaskis with a good save. Peek up Farrell and Baker's blasted it over. Early good chance right there. And in fact, after this tackle, let's have another look at it. Oh, it is a cruncher. It looks to me. Yep. Told me to make a quick sub. Oh, Riley's got injured, so I will do just that. Alfie McClamon. Or Maca Alfie McCalmon will play against his former club. He's getting quite a few boos coming onto the field. He was a youth player at Leeds. Come on. That's not nice from the Leeds faithful. <laughs> not nice. It's a bit harsh. Not nice isn't really the word. As now Beltran slipping the ball through right here. He could score against them and does. Alfie McCalmon scores instantly against Leeds United. His boyhood club and he's going to celebrate against them. A bit harsh but he does. I mean if you hear booze about yourself you make the other team pay through that gap. Into the bottom corner. 1-0 at Ellen Road once again. He is going to try and make him pay as Maximiliano Gomez. Ball out to Bogus through the middle. Shackleton, he centres on a bit of a run right here. Jamie Shackleton, good footwork. McGurk with a back heel into Budawi, who shoots from range. Duarte saves. Woodman was sent. As now Shackleton around the corner into Bogus, who... Just fires it wide. And the Leeds fans 1-0 down, but still trying to make some noise here as Hoover... On a good run, he's actually got the better of the defender two times now. As he cuts back, goes towards the edge of the box. Alfie McCalmont again on it and looks for the top corner. He wanted two. And Badawi with the ball across the middle into Jamie Shackleton. Terrible cross as Josh Knight easily deals with that one. Alfie on the ball again. Here he is, McCalmont running down this wing. He's having the game of his life against his former club. Whips one in. Good one. Anton in. Brilliant save from Bailey Peacock. Farrell though. As Antonin is denied in this one. Corner ball still. And we're going to use run from the edge of the box tactic. This time as Baker looks for Duarte who does win it. And it had to be hooked out of the air. Very unlucky from us there. As now across the middle of the park. Duarte, Antonin. 
Here we go. Can we get a move together right here? Tamas Kiss cuts away. He's got a bit of a run through the middle. Easy run as well. Was never missing that one. Tamas Kiss has his second of the episode. Our second of the day here in Leeds. As that is an easy finish once again. Defence opened up. Literally opened up. Never mind Tamas Kiss. It is Noakis. Parting open the defences. As that's a terrible kick off from them as well. Tried to run it straight away, but not a good pass right there from Tamas. Come on, get your head in the game until half-time. We can still fight for a third. It's been a brilliant game here against Leeds. Much improved from the team after that Brighton game, of course, which hopefully has us back on form as McGurk with a pass into Shackleton. Shackleton finding a gap. McGurk, should I say, as Somerville making a good save and a corner ball here for Leeds. How are they going to whip this one in? Just get at the front post, easily away. Or not from Beltran. Shackleton with it. Passing it around. Roman Noli with a shot. Hoover on the ball right here who whacks it upfield. And there is the whistle. 2-0. Boos all around Ellen Road. Which is music to my ears with the scoreline. I do like playing here. Of course it was Logan John's brace that got us the win here last season in a 2-1 victory. They did take the lead in that one as Baker has the ball. Has he got Hoover making a run? Not really. Antonin is though. Through the middle, good tackle there, and we've lost it. And we do have the ball back here in the middle of the park. Alfie McCalmon, definitely man of the match for me, as he whips a good ball forward to Antonin. What a ball! He's got a man in the middle, floats it over. Farrell has to punch that one as he gets the header as well, Antonin. Baker wins his, that's brilliant from us. Urgent as we need to be as Beltran around the corner. Baker, Antonin's onside, he's going to drill one. And that is poor from him. He's missed two very good chances, which sees him come off now for Brandon Fowler. Probably going to be angry as he comes off as Fowler. That was a rough challenge. He's got away with it somehow, though, as Shackleton into Budawi. Shackleton again over the top. Woodman's got to win that race. He does. He makes sure of it. And he's going to throw that wide straight away to Tamas, who looks to try and get us off on a counter. Gets the header on. Fowler's in front. He was the one who set the goals up against Leeds United last time out. Very poor pass. Fowler's in. Tried a chip. Farrell read it. As I've got to say, we've done very well this season as well as Leo Hergelde gets injured for Leeds. We've done very well ourselves to avoid injuries as Tyler Roberts on the field into Somerville. We need to try and come across a bit. Maximio Gomez puts Leeds back in the game that they've not been in at all. It was an easy goal for, I think, the Uruguayan. Making it hard for ourselves. Still a lot of time left in this game as well as it was just... Pulled across the box. Woodman made the move and his clean sheet's just gone like that. Leeds United to put the pressure on again as here's McCalmont. who's going to find the pass into Beltran. Beltran to the side of him. Baker gives it back. Can we just try and instantly get his lead back to two? Baker will make me feel a lot better about myself. Baker's through as well there. Hoover into Baker. And we have done. Side netting. Grab the ball. Celebrate. Good win. Very nice from us right there. It's Beltran who's going to come off now. I think the game's done. As Baker gets another goal. And another one, I think, that's just come off his shin. Good stuff, though. This very much improved as Bogus gives it back to Cody Drama. Leeds going for a bit more youth now that they might think the game's gone. As they have won a corner ball, though. And they could get another one back here. Please mark up. Mark that 27. Maximiliano Gomez as it's gone in. Hoover's up there with a great head away. Baker chasing it out, but Budaboo onside. Edge of the box to Kumbula through to Shackleton off the crossbar. Block it. Staunton uses his hand to do so. Now, if this is a real game, he gets sent off for that. But, of course, it's not. And a penalty to Leeds. There's always going to be a penalty in a game as Gomez again puts it into the side netting. It's going to be a nervy ending. Goal for Leeds. Oh dear, look at this as well. Just fired straight into that top corner. I'm panicking now. But we don't need to because we keep the ball from kickoff. And it's over straight away before the scoreboard could even pop up again for me to see the minutes. 3-2 at Ellen Road. Bielsa's men have been double done here by us. Hartlepool. And that should be us. Back into that continental drift of teams. But some bad news coming out of that game is Matt O'Reilly's toe injury. It's broken. Three months it's going to be broken for as we are still 10th in the league. Still the points. The points are what count. Not the position at the moment. 
we're back into the drift of things. Four off Liverpool in sixth, but just one off of both Brighton, Leicester and Southampton. We are level with. Very nice episode today. Of course, if we would have got that win against Tottenham, they'd be down there still. And we will be in seventh place, but not to be. And we move into two difficult games, so... We're under pressure to stay where we are, but the pressure we must thrive upon. As thank you guys for watching this episode right here. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe with the notification bell on as well if you don't have it on. To make sure you're notified when every new episode comes out. As I will see you all in the next one of the series. Take care in a bit. See you tomorrow and peace.